Hey folks, and welcome to this video on free stock images. Everybody loves free, don't we? When you've got a budget, whether it's large or small, everybody wants to save some money. But is free really free? Well, before we get into me showing you my top three free stock photo websites, let's discuss the different terms that people use when they talk about stock imagery to make sure that you are getting the free image that you think you are. Rights managed images. Okay, so the first term that we really want to get to know is rights managed. In most cases, you're not gonna come across rights managed photography, but it's best that you know what it actually is. Essentially, rights managed photographs or images have restrictions on them. This could be the number of times you can use the image, the length of time you can use the image, the image size that you can use, and lots more. And the thing is, with rights managed images, you have to pay a fee for each of those. So the longer you want to use it, the more money you'll pay. The larger the image, the more money you'll pay. The length of time you want to use it, the more money you'll pay. Royalty free images. Now, don't be fooled by that word free. It doesn't mean that you can just take that image and use it for what you want without paying anything. Royalty free is kind of a simpler version of rights managed. You don't pay different levels of fees depending on the length of time you want to use it, the number of times and so on. Royalty free generally has a flat rate that you pay. You can then use that image as many times as you want, as long as you want and whatever size. Please check terms and conditions though on every one of the royalty free websites because they do change and differ. One of the main things though that you cannot use a royalty free image for is in a trademark or a logo. So don't think you can go and buy that image for 20 pounds, $20 and use it as your company logo. That goes against pretty much all royalty free websites, terms and conditions. Creative Commons. So Creative Commons, the Creative Commons Zero License. This basically means that any images that you find on a Creative Commons website, they are free to use for any legal purpose. They are completely free for personal and commercial business use. You can modify the images, copy the images, you can even distribute the images. And the great thing is, you don't have to give any attribution to the original photographer. You can use those images as and how you like. Okay, so now that we know the different types of licenses, you can make sure that when you are on a stock image website, you look for that Creative Commons license, Creative Commons Zero. Make sure that that's there and then you'll have no issues. You can download any images for free and use them. So let's move on to my top three Creative Commons websites for your stock photography or images. So the first site that I'd like to talk about is Unsplash. Okay, so here's the first in my best three websites for free stock photography. And the first one is Unsplash. And the address is unsplash.com. And what I love about Unsplash is that the quality of the images is fantastic. And it's a really easy to use site. All you need to do is type in your search term. So let's say we're looking for blue skies. Hit the search button, let it do its thing. And voila, here we have lots of lovely images with blue skies in them. To download the image, just click on the little download arrow. You will get a pop-up box that says you can credit the photographer. Now, if you're using it on a blog or your website, then it might be a nice thing to do because obviously the photographer gets some uh, credibility and some awareness. But if you're using the image maybe in a brochure or a marketing product, you may not want to have that credit there because it may not fit with what you're trying to do. But the choice is yours. You don't have to credit the photographer. Um, and that's basically it. It's really simple to use. You've got some categories up here as well. So, you know, you can click on Galaxy. And uh, here we have lots of Galaxy images. You know, these are kind of uh, just lots of different types of um, kind of sky-based related items. Um, and uh, that's it for Unsplash. It's Like I say, it's really, really simple to use, but the quality of images are fantastic. 
And next up on my top three list is Pixels. Again, like Unsplash, lots of great quality images, really simple to use. Let's just use that same search term again, blue skies. And if you then want to download one of these images, simply click on the image and it will open up larger. And you'll see over here on the right that you have some details. It tells you here that it's a Creative Commons Zero license, which is what you're looking for also has details of the photographer and links to all of the photographs that they have on Pexels. And you can choose to click on download. There is an option as well for different sizes. So you can choose which one you want and you can donate to the photographer if you like, if you really love the images and you want to support that photographer. Also, the good thing about Pexels is it has some tools that you can use. So there's a Chrome extension that if you install it, it gives you a full screen image every day, a different image every day, just to brighten up your browser. There's also an app that you can install on your, uh, for Mac and Windows, um, that gives you uh, access to all of their photos from your desktop. And there's also a Photoshop plugin, which means if you're a Photoshop user, you can search for pixel photos within Photoshop. You don't have to leave Photoshop and go into your web browser. So that's a bit of a time saver for you there, especially if you're a heavy user of Photoshop and you're creating a lot of materials that use stock images. And last but not least is Pixabay. So let's go take a look at that. Now, Pixabay is great because with Pixabay, you not only get photographs, you will also get vector images, illustrations, and video stock footage all free, all Creative Commons. So let's do a search for blue skies again. And you can see here on the right hand side that we can choose all images, photos, vector graphics, illustrations, or just videos, or just one of these. So let's just go for all and hit return. Here we can see we've got lots of sky images. We've got illustrations mixed in here as well. So what we can do is we can actually narrow that down so we can just choose for choose to see illustrations and it will only show illustrations. We can go for videos. Here we can see lots of videos. If you hover your mouse over the videos, you'll get a very short um, run through of that video so you can kind of preview it uh, before you go to the trouble of downloading it. Um, this is great. You know, if you have a YouTube channel or you create videos, this is just a fantastic resource um, for vector images, videos, photography. Pixabay, for me, is probably the best one and the one I use the most, simply because it has a big choice. Um, I do go between this Unsplash and Pexels. If there's a specific image I'm looking for that I can't find on one of the platforms, I will kind of move around until I find the perfect image for me. So there you are folks, that's my top three free photography websites. Now there are a lot more free sites out there and to take some of the legwork away for you, I've created a list of 35 of those sites. Here is the compiled list of 35 free stock images. It's over on my website, over on my blog and it's very simple to use. I've compiled this list right here and all you need to do is just click on any of the links that you want to go check it out and have a look at the different websites that I've put on there and bookmark any ones which you find that you really, really like and you can use them whenever you want. As I always tell my clients, please do check the terms and conditions on all of these websites because they can change from time to time. Do not take it that they are always going to be Creative Commons licenses. You really must check every single photo that you want to download and use to make sure that you are in the right and not going to get into trouble for using some copyrighted or royalty free images without paying for them and holding a license. So just do that, just double check before you use any of the images. I hope you find this video useful folks please make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and when you do, 
please make sure to click on that little bell icon and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video from the channel. Until I see you next time, stay creative folks. <laughs>